Welcome to Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. All right, we are back uh, again with the uh, uh, gameplay video series. Also, welcome back to KOD. He's been a guest here before. And we are today trying on an old game, but the newer version of an old game. Yeah. Uh, which is called Machiavelli the Prince. And today we will do a gameplay series because uh, there isn't as clear of an end game to this as other games from the studio. Uh, the goal is basically to become super rich and beat the other trading houses. Yes. So we'll um, start this up and uh, do a few videos and hopefully uh, we'll go places, see people and find riches as we go along. So if that sounds like something you would like to watch alongside with us, uh, stay around. We uh, have this starting screen here, and it's no like strange stuff to it. You can um, pick a difficulty level and also um, do settings for some random events uh, on the map. Um, so we're starting on easy for us and average on... Wait a second. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's more like it. And they're average. Uh, so hopefully they'll make it somewhat challenging, but yeah. not too much. And you can also have, um, I think, 199 years or something like that as maximum. 192, I believe. Yes, yes. 192. Um, but in order to keep it somewhat simple, we will only do 60 turns. And one turn is one year. So this will end in 1360. So uh, this is an old game, so we don't really know all the specifics about it. We never played when it came out, no. so if which was in the 90s somewhere. 93, 94, something like that. I yes. Think. Yes. So I think that's it. Done. Let's get in. Oh, they're playing before we even get to... Uh, yeah. And we have the epic name of Cornaro. Uh, so now we can actually get to pick some uh, cool crests, so... Let's go simple. Yeah, sure. So that's our crest. And uh, one thing I can see right away is like they have different graphics in this um, game compared yes. to Merchant Prince, which was very close to the graphics in Hammer of the Gods. This is obviously uh, an updated version. Um, other than that though, we start out in Venice, that's the same. Yeah, and the uh, map has like ideas that there might be a city here, but mm -hmm. we don't know for sure, of course. That the, could be Rome, should yeah. be Rome, yeah. but and often enough you have to go there to find out. Exactly, and I think in Italy it's fairly accurate, although there's not much else in Europe. Uh, London. I'm not sure what these shields mean. No, Maybe that's it's the same. It could be capital cities. Yeah, something like that. But Rome isn't. No. Well, Italy isn't no. existing, so yeah. We'll find out, I suppose. Yeah. This is one of our small ships. Yeah, and we have... Um, yeah, this is like the marketplace. Yes, this is city screen for, uh, for Venice. Yeah. Uh, is where we are. And you can see that they have... Uh, one unit. No, they have five units, I guess. Yeah. Of cloth, and they have some glassware and uh, some fish. Yeah. And we can find out what they're worth in other cities that we've discovered, but of course we haven't discovered any other city. So, what do we have here? Well, we don't have much here because we haven't discovered any cities. No. And this is also like a slightly upgraded uh, interface compared to the older games. And we have colors. Yeah, and if we are uh, bumbling around a bit, it's because we're not super familiar with Yeah, this is actually the first ever time we started this particular game. We have played a little bit of Merchant Prince, but this is the first time we are doing Machiavelli. So, since yeah. we don't know much, yeah, I guess we might... Go simple. Go simple and buy some cheap fish yes. and see where we are. I wonder, since we're starting all this extra money, mm. if it's not worth... Oh, I guess 
to bring them over here. <laughs> yep, that's uh, him. I wonder if it's not worth um, getting an extra ship early on. Yeah, a big one. Yeah. We should, because uh, the bigger ships are easily worth getting. Because the two spaces are, well, if you have, if you want to have protection on board, like soldiers, that's one slot already lost. So you kind of want to have as many as possible. Yeah. Should we head to Byzantium? Yeah, let's uh, see if it's there in this yeah. game as well. There's no city marker there. It's not. Was there one in the old one? Yeah, I think. Pretty mm. sure there was. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a ship. Okay. It's one of our competitors, yeah. I imagine. So the graphics is vastly different in this. Uh, it's much more colorful. Oh, it's still there. Yes, and it's green, which might mean that it's open. Yeah, uh, that's a thing. Uh, some cities you can't gain access to even if you find them. In, in the old games, it was uh, displayed by being dark gray. And this could be the, the equivalent of the green text in this one. Would be, uh, yeah. Obviously, we don't know that yet. We'll find out. Yeah. So the Fisher costs 60, so we can sell these for a decent profit. And they also have the... Is it relics, maybe? Yes, the relics. Yeah, and that's what they have here. That is indeed what they have here, except for some soldiers that we don't need. Yes. Oh, and one new thing, uh, uh, the warehouse thing. Right, so you can buy stuff and store, like, we could have put these fish that we brought here and put them in the warehouse, mm. and you have to pay for it. Yeah. Uh, but that could be good if you have... If you turn up with a cargo and you realize that you could buy something that you really, really want, and you don't want to throw the merchandise away, you can buy some warehouse. And you can also build chains of uh, little trade routes that uh, and, uh, can bring them to a city where they're more valuable. We will probably do that. That's, yeah, we should aim for it. Mm. So let's see how much the grails, the <laughs> relics... <laughs> <laughs> the grails! It, it, yes. I mean, it could be a grail. It could be a grail, yeah. So Venice, it's a slight profit. Yeah. It's not super big. It looks like they've added to, in the old version of the game, you bought them, but then if you got to a city, they would always buy infinitely many. Yeah. Looks like they're only willing to buy two here. I assume this means demand. Yeah, it's probably not damage. Uh, no. So, um, <laughs> so I mean, they only have two, so that's fine. Yeah. Or should we buy them and keep exploring? We should probably, seeing as we have a bit of extra gold, we don't need to sell it straight away. Yeah. So we could do a little bit of exploring. Because this is a small ship. Anyway, yeah. So. And we usually keep the small ships as kind of scout ships. Yeah, there's also a mechanic where if you are the first to discover cities, there's a chance that you will get, uh, you'll find some old artifact. Yeah, or at least it was the, like that in the old yes, game. But true. this looks similar now, so it could be a thing. I think the Budapest is up here. Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> you, should chance, you should send our land-based unit that, that way. So here's our other small ship. Yeah. And we have cloth, glass, That's and fishes. Glass, yeah. I mean, I don't know why, but... Why, why not? Why not? It looks nice enough. And let's head around the foot of Italy and see... Yeah. I don't remember seeing all our competitors like this. No, no you could usually see them just between rounds. But now we can actually see them so out on the map. Open? Uh, uh, close enough. enough. It looks green, if yeah. that's what it is. Here's a larger ship. It's a middle-sized one, actually. It's not the large one. It's got six slots. Mm. Yeah. And they have... Let's yeah. buy up some... I wonder if I can just... No. Let's buy up some fish and then go... We So what we've done... We've only played through the old game once, really. Yeah, and only for a couple of hours, so yeah. it's not long by any stretch. But it was very profitable to go to Spain. Yep. Then, so it might be worth it for us to go... And discover stuff over there. There's a city called Padron, which we sold stuff at, at a frequent rate. Exactly. Here's our little caravan. Budapest? Yes, I guess so. Because Budapest and then eastwards, or maybe we can set up a good trade route mm. here. We'll see. Oh, yes, we should buy something. Yeah. For, for Fishes? Yeah, why not? And this, the caravans can bring quite a bit. Yeah. And we're only going by hunches here that fish is uh, kind of rare inland, so that should bring us some cash. Yeah, and there's also low risk because it's very cheap. It's very cheap, like, and also... Can we move across? Uh, let's find out. 
Yeah, we can. It yeah, looks I used only that cost three movement points. Yeah, it looks more solid uh, than in the old game. So now it's at the end of the turn. You can go to Venice. This used to be like um, a full screen. Yeah, yeah. rather than this mobile game. Yeah. But you can buy new units, which we should look into. I'm not sure how much money we have left, but we should look. We should. Uh, there's a library apparently with some info screens. Uh, there's the Den of Iniquity where you can uh, cause issues for your uh, competitors. Yeah. Assassinate. Arson, assassinations, all that good stuff, or not so good stuff. There's a bazaar here. I don't remember that. No. What is it? Um, oh, it's where you buy stuff. So that's actually missing the old yeah. game. Oh, we left when it's now. We need to do that. Uh, there's also the Clock Tower you can buy at Vilva. Which yes. is good because you raise your popularity by quite a bit. Uh, in the old game, I think you could have it burned down. I'm pretty sure you can this yeah. one as well. And once you have the villa, you can buy art, and that adds your popularity and so on. Yeah, and popularity is good uh, when you're trying to be uh, something like the Doge. Yes, which you can do in here. Uh, so there's a bunch of senators whose uh, legions you can buy. Yeah, and you can see how much they care depending on the color of their little yeah. bars. And if you become the doge, you can assign who gets to be the admiral and the general and some other important posts. And if you have that, you gain influence and also money. Yes. And you can also be assigned to these if you get some votes, but not majority. And all of these senators currently seem to be casting their vote on the general on the yeah, AI. Aligned. <laughs> yeah. not, none of the other families. Yeah. Um, and we don't have nearly enough to start doing this yet. No. No. But we will. We probably could convert to one or two. One or two, but, but uh, I'm not sure it's worth doing just now. I'm not sure how you know when the next election is either. But, uh, it's when there's one who has been uh, elected, usually it's every fourth year or something like something that. Something like that. And you can also buy cardinals to, uh, yes. well, to be able to sell the indulgences and collect some yeah. money. And you can get like um, a steady little income if you have a cardinal. Yes. If the Pope dies, you control most of the Cardinals, you'll be the next pope. Yes, and then you can excommunicate people, add new Cardinals, obviously, and call a crusade, which is probably good if you want to take over a city and then open up its markets. Yes, I would imagine so. Yeah. So we'll definitely do a little bit of this as well. But we can't afford any of that right now. We can afford... A boat. Uh, we cannot afford a big boat. We can afford a donkey. Seven. We should well, wait one more round, maybe, and then yeah, buy a boat. Possibly. Yeah. Really valuable land. Oh, maybe you could uh, sail around Africa. Maybe. Because the really valuable land is over to the east. Yeah, but it has to be like 10, 15 rounds to get there by yeah. boat. But it's quicker by boat than by camel, surely. It, yeah. We yeah. should uh, send something out there and see. We should send a small boat yeah. uh, in that direction and see what happens. Is there anything else here? Oh, wait, we should end the turn. That's yeah. what we should. So you get a little bit of money from your estate. Mm. Uh, we don't have any expenses currently. We could have had uh, some mercenary. Mm. Yep. Mercenaries, they cost money. And they cost per turn, yeah. They are going all over the place. Yes. It's also interesting, this version of the game has music. A lot or more. Uh, the other did have some, but it was very sporadic. And um, this one seems to have music all the time. I don't know if it's good music, but... No this counts. Was, uh, <laughs> bit it's, of waste of time. Uh, yeah. We didn't go into Rome last time. No, so. because we didn't have enough movements. Let's see. We have That's a good profit. Yep. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but. No, but every little bit counts. It's easier. What do so they So, what do they have? They have uh, barrels? Grog. Grog. Exclamation mark. Yes. Grog. Yes. Uh, Delicious. And fishes. Yeah. And the fish is more expensive here than in Venice. So grog, maybe? Yeah, let's pick up some grog. And go on our merry way. Yes. I consider this to be an expedition oh, ship. Oh, yeah, that's yes, Florence, Florence, and it's that's, red. So that probably something. means that we cannot, and it's also great. Yeah, they've turned the lights off. So we can not do anything in, yeah, denied. Uh, so none of our trading houses are allowed in here. No. Unless we conquer the city or bribe the living daylights out of them. Yes. I'm not sure what these skulls mean. They are lethal. Or are they dead? Well... <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I'm not sure. You can bribe them off as well, but... Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, we are. We, we haven't done that. We surely don't have enough money anyway. Oh, here's Genoa, which, Genoa, which is closed as well. Didn't it used to be open? I don't think so. I think Marseille was always. Yeah, there. Marseille definitely was. Oh, they oh, have. Oh, they charge less. Oh, they have Europe. gold. They do have gold. But only three uh, units, uh, from what we can tell. But they sell it very cheaply. They do. And you get a lot of money. But I think we want to keep going west with this ship. We do. So let's hold on to the grog. Yep. Uh, but it's good to know we can send our uh, middle sized ship there. Mm. This one. Are there any cities? Um, I don't think so. I'm fairly sure there weren't any in the old game. Looks to be the same in this one. I wonder if it's dangerous to go out this far. Like if we could get hit by storms yeah, and stuff. I yeah, I would imagine that could happen. There's put a pass. And it's still open for business. Hooray. Oh, and they get gold as well. They do. Fairly affordably. affordably yep, yep, yep. As well. And they have some furs some, as well. Yeah. That's so we should sell the fish in a way. Yeah. Can you sell all? I can. Oh, so it just pulls them from our uh, yeah, cargo hold. So should we buy gold or yeah, maybe. should we... Should uh, we set up a trade ro route with gold? Yeah. Let's see how... Rome and... Because Venice... Well, Byzantium, how far away is It's that? not super far. It really isn't. But can we get across this river? I... No, he probably has to go... Through the mountains. Yeah, right? that'll take a while. But he has to go... Well, Venice yeah. is closer, so... Yeah. And Venice brings in quite a bit of money. Yeah. So what did we bring the other way? Glassware. That's yeah. quite good. So let's do it. So you can set up these automated routes. By clicking on the recycle button. Indeed. <laughs> so you have to be a bit careful with where you put stuff here. So we'll buy as much gold as we can. Yeah. I haven't seen any road pirates. No, we haven't seen that in the old game, we should say. Yeah. So we will regret this probably. Yes. I'm not sure how I get it. Next thing I want to do is click on Venice anyway. Okay, so that maybe, yeah. or is it yeah. one of these? Maybe it's added it. Okay, Venice. I'm not yeah. sure what these things are, but I can click them. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll pick up some glass where you're coming back. Yeah. So you can do more stops if you want. Up till four. No, no. no oh, so we can put it in store. Yeah, that's so that's good actually. That's um, that means that we could set up these complicated chains, and mm. Mm. if the Glassware sells for a lot in the Far East, we can transport it to Budapest and stockpile it and then get it by ship yeah, or something. Uh, this is not more clear than it used to be. You have to add a city, right? You have to add a what? A city to the glass thingy. Uh, no, no, no. He will go there and he will bring it back. Okay, that's cool. So we're done with this one, yeah, right? I think so. There he goes. Well, that looks to be working. And uh, because we spent all the money on gold, then pretty sure we don't have any money now. But. Well, mm, one seven eight. So that's <laughs> not, that's not enough to do anything now. So that's on the turn. Yep. And we got a little bit. You always get a little bit. Yeah. So I guess the computers can uh, can uh, empty the cities of the fire goods yep. we were going to buy there. This was a bit of a bust. Yep, we're we didn't know. Around with our the Crimea is obviously. How was. Um, let's go in here. No, we can't do that. Okay. How was Budapest on relics, I wonder? We can see in Venice, can't we? Yeah, and uh, the bazaar. bazaar. Yeah. They got nothing, but they pay. But it's better than Venice. Yeah, it is. Might be worth going there. Yeah. yeah. It's not too far. And we can discover the rest of this little... Yeah. It's actually not far at all from Byzantium to Budapest. No. Yeah, that's good money. Yeah. I'll take it. So what do we buy here then? Gold? But that's always We don't want to... So then we're stuck with... Fish. fish. But selling fish to Byzantium probably won't be worth it. I don't think so either. No, this is the most expensive yeah. fishing. Yeah, we could get the gold and hope that it's back and mm. get that to Byzantium. Yeah, yeah. 
We'll probably have to do that because that's the only thing we can buy. Yeah. We do have two gold, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully that other guy won't get there too often. No, because he has to cross the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Did we send him to Venice? We, should... we did. Yeah. Last time we sent him to Rome, I think. But yeah, we sure, did. That's fine. There's Tangier. Yes. Yeah. I guess in the old game, there. that was not a good place to be. They didn't have anything. No. Now they have fish they and have silver. Because uh, the other guys sell them the fish a bit. Yeah, but they do have silver. Yeah, that's true. And they will buy a grog for 32 thorns. And they will. Extra. <laughs> I wonder, the silver, if that's expensive. It's, a, it's very affordable. Oh, yeah. So let's so buy it, but let's keep going north. Yeah. I have to say, though, the music in this game is not as good as in the old one. It is... Uh, it's close to terrible. <laughs> it's close to terrible, but you have yeah. to suffer with us, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So we have fish here. Have we? What is this? Just yeah. doing? It's not our guy. No, but this is. Yeah, he was just. Um, he had some fish, and we were moving him along the coastline to see where right. it would go. He's the big ship, so we sh maybe have shouldn't. Have been to Marseille? Yeah, I think so. I guess the fish there is, it's worth it. Yeah, and pick up some more fish. No, no, that's not. <laughs> that's not yeah. smart. We grog, pick up grog. Yeah. yeah. We could also hire a guard for the better. One so, dude uh, we should probably have. Maybe. It is a good we, idea. We're moving into pirate here. waters though. So it could be a good idea. Let's see about the grog. Is it a good price? It's a very good price. It is. So let's do one dude and the rest grog. A drone. It's, it's very good. Yeah, it is good. So let's have the, the one guy yeah, first. <laughs> so and then booze up. Okay, the music's not getting... The music is absolutely uh, average. Yeah. So <laughs> let's go to Padron. Yes. You know, I would have... I mean, if they had used the old music uh, with this game, it would have been very nice. Yeah, I agree. So how much money do we have now? Where's oh two thousand? Two thousand. That's quite good. We could buy a dude, but didn't we, we could also get buy more ship? ships? Yeah. yeah. Is that what we should do then? Yeah, I think so. One big ship, so we can start earning uh, a little bit of money. Where do we want it though? That's a good question. Do we want it up here? Maybe we do, so we can move it up towards the Baltic. Yeah. Let's do that. So let's buy that one. I'm wondering if we should buy a little uh, speedy Maybe. thing as well uh, and send it south to Africa. Yeah, sure. From here. We have the money. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... Uh, well, we're doing a trial run, basically. Well, so. what's, he's going to be sent to himself a goal. Yes. Yeah. That's why he's red. But he's, uh, mm. yeah. And we already got a little bit of money back. Yeah. Oh, you can see what they're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly interesting. So that works. And we get a little bit of money. That sounds good. The relics, yeah, I guess. Why not? Yeah, why not? They, that's kind of what they do. No, they only have one, but. Darn it. <laughs> so where can we explore? I mean, the. We could go to North Africa. That's true. And, uh, See what's there. See if we can find um, Cairo. We sunk silver here. A drone. Oh, yeah, we found, found the, the other true. The other. The other true cross. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> there was only the one. <laughs> but profit of three. That's. Uh, I mean, it was the other true cross. Uh, true, but nobody's too impressed apparently. So we found the other one. For three. Usually, you get hundreds for these. Things. Yeah, I wonder if that's. That was a bit of a doubt. Yeah, I mean it. it we only really did get three as well. Yeah. So that's probably like a fake treasure. Yeah, I imagine. But and that's new. Uh, we didn't find any sort of stuff like was like useless stuff. No, in they don't have anything here. They really don't. I guess someone must have been there and yeah. bought everything. 
it's and unfortunate. It's literally true. They yeah. don't have. They have. They have absolutely nothing. Yeah. So we don't really have much to um, to do here. No. Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's Unfortunately, see. it's empty. <laughs> I don't think there's any. Not by choice. Not by choice. I think Paris is closed, but we can. Yeah. No, no it's, it's not. Open. Hello, Paris. Oh my God. Well, in the next turn. Pretty. So this fellow is going there to sell the girl. But he won't be able to buy anything. No, so I wonder... And didn't we want to... We're building stuff there, aren't we? Where? In Badron, yeah. yeah. So he should probably go south and sell it. He could sell the barrels in ten years and then move south. True, but we haven't need another ship in... No, we, we built two ships in Padron, and we would... We built one in Tangier to go south. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We could send two south, I guess. Yeah, but we couldn't. Why what do they silver? have? They have silver, yeah, that's what they have. And an expensive fish. Yeah, so let's not get the expensive fish. I can't use the sell button because I don't want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. So that's... So they should have had, like, uh... Should we go south, then? It might be a while until we run into some place, but uh, why not? It should have, like, uh... Yeah, you're right. I don't think we ever found anything in the old game. No. He's supposed to go north. Yeah. Guess. Can you buy anything? He cannot buy anything more than this. No. No. So, basically, what can happen in this game is that someone else... The competition comes into a town, buys everything. Apparently. Mm. And then you just stuck. I don't think that happened in the old one. Or maybe we just no, never just had it happen to us. No point in not bringing some extra silver. Yeah, might as well, might as well. I mean, this is the ship that's actually good to explore with because it's much faster than the yeah. other one. But Hopefully it finds at least one city. Oh, hello. Oh no, nothing here. <laughs> Probably not. not. No. Nothing. Go to Venice. We... Do we have any money? A little bit? We have... Oh, we have enough to buy a dude, right? No, we, no, we all, almost have enough to buy a dude. So, I guess we S have enough to buy a caravan if we want to send land-based unit east, but... Should we do that now, or hold on for a minute? That's a question. Let's do it now. Yeah, let's do it now. Um, why not? Why save the money? Yeah. Camel or donkey? It's up to you. Let's get a cap. As far as we can tell, it's only like um, what you <laughs> what you fancy. They have the same statistics, exactly. as far as we can tell. I think it's best to yeah. Budapest because otherwise we have to. They can't cross the big rivers, as far yeah. as I remember. So let's do that. A camel, it is. No, wait a second. I didn't buy it today. No. Yeah. Did you want to buy? It? Yes. I did. Oh, so they actually. Okay, that's a new thing as well. Yeah. So did you actually want to buy this? Yes, please. Before you just forgot to buy them. Yeah. All right, so that's that turn, and it's probably a good place to end off wow, the yes. first gameplay video. But we'll be back. We will. And uh, next time we will make money. money. Anyway, that was the first part. The music is awful. But aside from that, it's a slightly upgraded version of the old game, as far as I can tell. Yes. And it's probably nice enough. Yeah. So in the next uh, video, we will just push on, hopefully get rich, maybe buy a cardinal, all that good stuff. So if you want to be a part of that, tune in uh, to the next video and we'll keep on doing this. But for now, bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it or want to support the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you.